Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear student, let us start our class. Dear student, today is our lecture number 33 of half yearly and today's SW number will be 22. Dear student, today's topic name is CBQ3 of chapter 6 and CBQ4 will be your SW. I repeat, CBQ3 as your CW and CBQ4 will be your SW. My dear student, I have already written CBQ3 and CBQ4 on the board. Today we shall solve CBQ3 as your CW. Okay, and CBQ4 will be your SW. Okay, my dear student, at first you read the question. Notice, Sabrina sleeps for on by four part. That means Sabrina, the name of a girl who sleeps for one by four part and plays. Listen, plays for one by twelve part and studies for one by six part. Listen, Sabrina, a girl who sleeps for one by four part plays for 1 by 12 part and studies for 1 by 6 part of the week of the week so my dear student next information she spends the rest time in drawing she spends the next time in drawing question number a how much time does she spend on sleeping and playing question number b is what part is spent on studying sleeping and playing C number question, what is the part that she spends on drawing? Okay. So, A number question, in order to solve a CBQ problem, at first we make a plan. How to solve that problem? A number question is, how much time does she spend on sleeping and playing? Dear student, please notice from the stem, she sleeps for 1 by 4 part and place for 1 by 12, uh, 12 part. So, we add these two part and we get the total time that spends on sleeping and playing. After that, what part she spent on studying, sleeping and playing. That means we add this time for sleeping, this time for playing, this time for studying. After that adding, we get the result. Okay. What is the part that she spends on drawing? My dear student, from the stem, you notice she spent the rest of the time in drawing. So, at first, we find out the total time that she spends on sleeping, playing and studying. After that, we consider the total time be one part. So, we subtract the addition of sleeping, playing and studying time from the whole time. That means on time and we get the result that she spends on drawing. So, let us try to solve question number A. Okay. Here, how much time does she spend on sleeping and playing? So, first of all, you write given that, given that Sabrina sleeps, sleeps for 1 by 4 part and she plays for 1 by 12 part. How much time does she spend 1 sleeping and playing? She spends 1 sleeping and playing she spends on sleeping and playing equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 12 part my dear student in front of this line if we write in total she has spent in total she spends on sleeping and playing equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 12 part. Now we do addition. So in order to do addition at first we find out the LCM of the denominators. Here denominators are 4 and 12 but 4 is the factor of 12. So 
by this information we say 12 is the LCM of these two numbers. So here we write 12. After that we divide this LCM by the denominator of the first fraction which is 4. So we divide 4, 12 by 4 and we get 3. 3 is multiplied with 1 and we get 3. 3 on the 3. So 1 multiply 3. It will be better. Then plus sign after that 12 is divided by 12 and we get 1. That 1 is multiplied with this numerator that means 1. Now we do multiplication 3 ones are 3 and 1 ones are 1 and this 12 is here part. Okay. Now we do addition that means 4 by 12 part. Dear student now we reduce this term into lowest term. So 4 and 12 both numerator and denominator is divided by the number 4. So if we divide 4 by 4 then we get 1. If we divide 12 by 4 then we get 3. So 1 by 3 part is the required answer. I hope you have understood. Answer 1 by 3 part. Okay. So my dear student next we shall solve question number B. Next we shall solve question number B. B number question is what part is spent one studying, sleeping and playing? Dear student, here we add only two terms. That means the question asks uh, ask to find out the time that she spends on playing and uh, sleeping. But in this question, uh, the question asks us to find the time that she spends on studying, sleeping and playing. So we add three terms. So in order to solve this math, at first we write given that. C, B number question given that. So you write Sabrina sleeps for 1 by, uh, 1 by 4 part. She plays for 1 by 12 part. Okay. And and she studies for 1 by 6 part now we do addition in total in total she spends one sleeping playing and studying equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 part. Now, dear student, please notice the board. Here we need to find uh, we need to find out the LCM of 4, 12, and 6. Dear student, notice 12 is the 12 uh, 4 and 6 are the multiples are the factors of 12. So 12 is the LCM of 4, 12, and 6. So now we divide this 12 by 4 and we get 3. 3 is multiplied with this 1. Okay. Then we divide 12 by 12, we get 1. So 1 is multiplied with 1. After that, this plus sign is here. Then we divide this 12 by 6 and we get 2. That is multiplied with 1. Okay. Now listen. We do multiplication 3 ones are 3, 1 ones are 1, and 2 2 1 2 the 2 divided by 12 part now we do addition 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 2 that means 6 6 by 12 now we convert this fraction into reduced term dear student please notice here numerator is 6 and denominator is 12 both number is divided by the number 6 so if we divide this numerator by 6 then we get 1 if we divide this 12 by 6 then we get 2. So we get 1 by 2 as the lowest term of 6 by 12. And this is the answer. And this is the answer. So question number B is done. Next we shall solve question number C. Question number C is what is the part that she spends on drawing? My dear student, in total we consider the total time of the week be one part after that we subtract uh, we subtract the total time that she spends on sleeping 
playing and studying from the whole time and we get the required time that she spends on drawing okay so now we erase this question and start to solve question number c okay so first of all we write from b we get she spends on sleeping she spends uh, she spends on sleeping playing and studying studying 1 by 2 part 1 by 2 part and now we consider let the total time of the week total time of the week equal to one part okay now we find out the rest of the time that she spends on drawing so the rest of the time the rest of the time of the week that Sabrina spends on drawing is we subtract this total time from the the total time of sleeping playing and studying from the total time of the week that means on minus half part that means we know every number has a denominator which is one so we find out the lcm of one and two which is two now we divide this two by one and we get one one is multiplied we uh, sorry we divide two by one and we get two that two is multiplied with numerator one so we get one multiplied two again two is divided by two and we get one that one is multiplied with numerator that means one multiply one so this part after that two ones are two and one ones are one divided by two so one by two part so this is the required time which she spends on drawing and this is the answer 1 by 2 part i hope you have understood now my dear student question number cbq4 will be your sw which is mita bought 2 into 5 by 6 liters of milk and mahamud bought 1 into 3 by 8 liters a number question how many liters of milk did they buy in total that means we do addition of Mita's amount of milk and uh, Mahmoud's amount of milk after that we do addition and you get the answer a number question is that B number how many liters of milk did Mita buy more than Mahmoud that means my dear student Mita has more amount of milk than Mahmoud so we subtract Mahmoud amounts of milk from Mita's amount and we get the required answer i hope you have understood how to solve question number b and question number c how many liters of milk is needed to buy if they need five liter my dear student they need five liters but in total we have already find out their amount of milk in question number a so that amount is subtracted from five liters and we get the required amount i hope you have understood how to solve question number four it is so easy I repeat it is so easy question you practice and I hope you can easily solve this math okay my dear student you must do your assign SW in your SW copy and submit it regularly in our school campus in every Saturday within 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. so my dear student I hope today's lecture is fruitful fruitful for you so my dear student keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum